Hi, I'm Michael Scopo, and I'm from Russell House Tavern. And today we're going to be making an Archer Farms meatloaf uh, with bacon, red wine, mushrooms, uh, and some fresh herbs. And we're going to start, we've got some brioche that we bring into the restaurant. It's just fresh brioche that's cubed up very nicely at home. You can just take some Wonder Bread or whatever kind of bread. Leftover bread is great for this, day-old bread. Uh, kind of shred it up. It doesn't have to be uh, cut all pretty like this. We're going to add one egg yolk to it and then one whole egg. And we're going to add some heavy cream to it. Nice, rich, heavy cream to kind of richen up the meatloaf a little bit. And then some salt and pepper. And we're just going to kind of work that with our hands. And what we're doing is we're creating like a little paste. And really what it's going to be is a binder for the meatloaf. It's going to combine um, all those ingredients together. So as the meatloaf cooks, the fat renders out of the ground beef. And this mixture is going to catch that fat and it's going to kind of create an emulsified or a creamy texture to the meatloaf. Okay, so now we're ready to take the next step with our meatloaf, which means, of course, we're adding bacon to it. We've got some nice uh, chiffonade smoky bacon here. And uh, we need to render that out. We need to get the fat out of it. We need to crisp it up a little bit. We're going to start building the f uh, layers of flavor for the meatloaf. So into the pan. A cold pan is fine for your bacon. Uh, just add the pork in there. We've got it just on about a medium, medium high heat. And we're going to let it cook for about five, six minutes till it gets a nice golden color. And then we're going to come back to it. So we're ready to take the next step with the meatloaf. The bacon is nicely rendered out. So now the next point is we're just going to add a little bit of garlic, finely chopped, a good amount of onions. We're going to add mushroom to it. And as you can see, the heat is up. So we're going to let this cook down for about two or three minutes. And then we're going to come back to it and we're going to add the red wine. So here we go, the onions and garlic mix is ready where we want it. Now we're going to add our red wine. And when this is called deglazing, we're just deglazing the pan here. We're getting all the stuff that collected on the bottom of the pan, that would be the fond. Uh, we're bringing that all up off the bottom of the pan, that's going to fortify the flavors. The red wine is going to kind of glaze the onion garlic mushroom mixture. Um, so we're going to reduce it. We're going to evaporate it until it gets a nice kind of red glaze on this mix. And then we're going to add our fresh herbs to it. So our wine and onion mushroom mix is good to go. It's nice and glazed. The wine is completely reduced off of it. Uh, and it's ready now to add some fresh herbs. We've got some fresh rosemary here. Some fresh parsley. Always going heavy on the herbs. And some chives. Quick mix. Always adding the herbs right at the end. If you add them at the beginning of the process, it's just going to end up cooking them out. They're not going to have that bright, kind of vibrant color and flavor that you want from a delicate fresh herb. So they're in there. That mix looks great. We're going to set it aside and cool it, and then we're going to mix our meatloaf. So start by adding the meat. What I like to do is just kind of break it up just a little bit. Find that it just helps incorporate everything in when it's just kind of torn up a little bit. Uh, we're using 80-20 ground beef for this. And at this point, I like to season it. Before I get everything else in there, I want to season this aspect of the dish. So, and since it's raw meat, I like to go a little bit heavy. So just seasoning it with some salt and pepper there. And incorporating that into the meatloaf itself. And now we're going to add our panade mix, which is the bread, cream, and eggs. Just kind of working that in there crush that bread up a little bit. You'll find that if you do have little cubes of bread in there, they're going to cook down. They're going to kind of melt away as the meatloaf cooks, but you can really get them out of there if you just really work it. So that looks good. Now we get into our aromatics. They're going right in there, nice and chilled, folding that in there. And you can see the ratio is high. There's a lot of them in there. So we're ready to load it into our pan. Now at home, you're probably going to do this in a 9 by 13, something like a brownie pan, or you have maybe a, a loaf pan that you make banana bread in or something like that. That would be perfect. Russell House Tavern, of course, we've got our terrines because we do a lot of charcuterie. We're going to load this mix right into the terrine. I don't need to grease this at all. It's got plenty of fat in the meat. And as it cooks, it's going to release that fat and it's going to come right off the pan. And if we measured right, 
which I think we did, it's going to fit just right into the terrine. And I'm not crushing it down in there. I'm not putting all my weight on there in any way. I'm just kind of gently setting it in there. And that looks great. Meatloaf purist, the way mom used to make it. We've got to put some ketchup on there. A little bit of ketchup right across the top. Just enough to coat it. We'll get that on there. And uh, wrap it in foil at this point. Of course, these guys come with a lid, so we can just drop our lid right on there. And it's ready to go. It's going to go in 350 in the oven uh, for about an hour, and then we're going to come back and serve it up. So finished meatloaf, ready to go. It's right here. We took some nice slices out of it. Um, I'm just going to plate it up real simply. I've got some nice mashed potatoes here. Um, we've got some roasted tomatoes that we keep around the restaurant. So I'm just going to mix those with a little parsley. And we'll serve those right next to it like that. Then we've got our meatloaf here, star of the show. Take a few nice slices of that. there with it. Don't want to fuss around with it too much. A little bit of gravy. Just kind of let that come right over the meatloaf itself. And that works for me. That's meatloaf with bacon, red wine, a little fresh rosemary.